Hello everybody. This video is going to be about the car parking diesel heater, the Chinese knockoff. So it's going to be quite lengthy. So I've got lots of details for you. So stick around to the end. And uh, in the description below, there's going to be a whole bunch of links to Amazon for your country where you can uh, purchase this thing. I highly recommend it. Okay, let's get on with the uh, review. I purchased this thing about two and a half weeks ago. I finally set it up about a, uh, two weeks ago, uh, a temporary spot. And uh, let me just see, where's my papers? Okay, now when I first got it, I read in the book that it is, it burns uh, from point two to point four liters of diesel an hour. So I just took the average, point three, and a 10 liter tank that gives you uh, 30 hours of use full blast use but that'll never happen because uh, you don't want it to be over 100 degrees inside your wherever you're uh, putting this thing whether it be in a motor home a mobile home uh, your van uh, a garage a, a small uh, room or whatever wherever you want to put this so I would estimate that in my particular situation in my van if I turn it on and leave it on and set the, the, the uh, uh, thermostat to whatever degrees I want, I set it for like 20 degrees, and if I leave it turned on, this is what happens. It'll be on and get up to 20 degrees, and then it'll slowly not shut down completely. It goes down to like just a trickle. The, the pump pumps real fast when it's... Uh, pumping at full blast and to get from uh, like say 17 16 degrees in here to 20 uh, takes less than half an hour so in a half an hour of burn which is like I said it's 0.3 liters per hour so it, bo it burned half of that and then once it goes into its uh, mode where it keeps it at 20 degrees it pumps very slowly and it keeps burning though so that you it, it doesn't turn off completely um, so therefore it's burning fuel all the time but not at a rate of 0.3 I would say it's pretty minimal uh, when it's when it's I would say you should be able to get um, five, let's say in five hours is when you'll, you'll hit the 0.3, uh, liters per hour. Like it's in, in five hours, it'll burn 0.3 liters. So, and so for 30 liter tank, that's Five, uh, five hours times 30 liters, which is 1,500 or 150 um, hours of burn time before it's if you just left it on all the time. This, this is just my rough estimate for me and for what temperature I like and how cold it is outside or how cold it is in here. Uh, everyone is a slight bit different. They're going to have their uh, differences. Uh, so. Anyways, for my situation, I ran it for 15 days and I still have a little bit in there. I could run it for another two, three, four hours maybe. Uh, it all depends, but I never ran it full time. I, I tried to run it full time just to see how it works and what it does. Most of the time, I ran it for about two hours a day. So I'd get up in the morning. Well, I set the uh, timer to come on at 7.30 in the morning, burn for half an hour, and then turn off 
and then in the evening it would come on again at 10 o'clock, burn for half an hour, and then go off. Because in a half an hour it heats it up to where I like it in here. And then throughout the day I'll burn it a couple more times. So that adds up to about two hours per day. So two hours per day for 15 days was 30 hours. And that's exactly how, how much I estimated before I even got started. It was going to be 30 hour use of the tank and that's exactly what I got. And a tank cost me anywhere from, it all depends on what the price of diesel is that day. Um, the first time I filled up my jerry can, my 10 liter jerry can to exactly 10 uh, liters, it cost me $12.50. And I filled it up again now to, fi to fill up my tank and it was $14. So 15 days, so 30 days is going to cost me um, $25, $30 to run that for a, a month. Like a dollar a day, that's not too bad at all. Uh, that's as far as the burn goes. As far as the uh, voltage goes, the, uh, how many amps it uses, I, I couldn't really test that too well because I don't have anything to read amps. I just read somewhere that it takes anywhere from 10 amps to 12 amps to start up. And that's while it's getting warm. And that's only for about two minutes or so at the most. And then it shuts right down and, and uses like 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7 amps per hour uh, after that. So that it's negligible. Um, I didn't see any uh, use of power at all. I mean, I have a Dometic fridge that plugs in and that thing uses more, way more power than this does. And it only, it cycles itself off and on too. But uh, this thing here, if you just run it a couple hours every day, like two hours a day, you're not gonna you're not gonna use too much power at all. If you run it continuously all the time, it keeps its temperature in here at a constant 20 degrees or 20, whatever you set it at. Uh, I still think it's not even when I ran it for uh, what was the longest time I ran it for? I think was about six hours I ran it for six hours I just let it run to see what would happen how much power that would use and it's I could hardly tell I was 12.3 when I started is 12.3 when I quit so uh, I couldn't really tell I don't have a, a digital readout for how many amps it uses or anything if I could get an app meter I could uh, fill in a little bit more so I would recommend this uh, diesel heater to anyone that is living in a, in a motor home, in a uh, camper, in uh, any kind of small vehicle, even a car. Only get the, if you're in a car, then I would get the uh, 2000 watt version as opposed to the 5000 watt, which I have. And I understand there's an 8000 watt version, which would be for like garages or something, a little bit, something a little bit bigger. I have mine, if you saw my other videos, right under my bed. Uh, the pump is right at the end of my bed. I can live with a little noise, but I had other friends come and have a look, other van dwellers, and they said that the noise was next to nothing. All I see online of the reviews of this uh, heater is uh, an unboxing, setting it up on a, on a bench and running it and see how loud it is. Well, that's not installing it and seeing how loud it is when you install it. People are all worried about how much power this thing takes, how noisy it is, how much fuel it burns, which is understandable. You want to know those facts before you go out and buy these things. But that's why I have this review video as opposed to other people that have their review and they don't tell you anything about uh, how long it ran for a full uh, 10 liter tank. Uh, how hot it kept whatever they're living in and I'm actually glad that I'm in Vancouver and uh, we've had nice weather all winter uh, above zero there once in a while it went below zero uh, but we have a cold snap here right across Canada almost and I'm actually pretty happy that this happened now at the end of my cycle for the first 10 liters is because I can tell it's like minus five minus six outside 
and I've let it get down to one degree in here and then power it up. It took 40 minutes until it was nice and toasty again. Um, so I've run it through its course. Um, I have the, the vent coming out from underneath the bed. It just blows along the floor and warms up the air. So all the, all the hot air doesn't always go to the top. I have a high top van. It doesn't go up top. Uh, it's along the floor and there's no cold spots in here whatsoever when it gets toasty warm it's warm everywhere and it's a nice dry heat it's not like if you sit in front of a buddy heater yes it's warm it feels like a fireplace but you can sure tell the difference if you sat in front of this and in front of a buddy heater in my opinion I call it a, a damp heat uh, a, a, with the buddy heater in front of this heater it's a nice dry heat like your furnace in your house and there is no possible way you could put your fingers or your hand in, in right in front of the vent that comes out which is about uh, three feet from the actual unit itself you'll burn your fingers it's that hot um, 50 60 degrees Celsius coming out of the end I, it might even be more I don't have a proper uh, heat gauge to tell you what the temperature is now I'm going to leave a link in the description, like I said below, uh, where you can go and purchase, well you can go and have a look, and then uh, by all means purchase one of these through my affiliate links, then I make a little uh, commission for the advertising of, uh, of it, and I guarantee you that this thing works the way it says it does. People are afraid to buy a Chinese knockoff thing, they think, they think it's not the greatest, and Chinese try to duplicate everything so what's the big deal it's so cheap that it doesn't matter if it works for a year or for several months I'm perfectly happy with that uh, I don't want to spend three to four times the amount of money for the same kind of heat uh, and still have your same problems I mean everything you purchase I don't care how much you pay for it is gonna it, it's susceptible to breakdowns and problems and this thing has I don't know let's see it has the first thing is uh, you open the shell up it has a fan on one end it has the electronics it has a burn chamber and then it has the uh, uh, hot air exchange that's all there is as far as pieces go and in Vancouver here they have a place where you can actually buy parts for these things if something ever happens like the pump or the you need new hosing or uh, wiring or whatever you need there's a place right here where I can I can pick this up and you can't do that in every in every little town in every city but uh, I still guarantee that you will enjoy this heater that's it guys and gals that's the review of the Chinese knockoff car parking diesel heater the 5000 watt version and if you haven't done so please subscribe uh, comment give me that thumbs up and uh, I love the comments uh, I reply to every one of them if anybody has any questions about this heater or any other questions uh, please feel free to comment and and ask away uh, I'll, I'll answer every single one um, I will leave links in the description below if you scroll down below the video you'll see the There'll be links down there for Amazon and all the countries uh, where you can purchase this thing. So if you're from Germany or from Spain or Italy or um, the UK or, or the United States, you can click on your particular Amazon affiliate link. Go have a look at the thing. And please, by all means, make your purchase through that link, that, the affiliate link, so that I can at least get a little bit of income from uh, making the review I don't I'm not in contact with the company at all so it's just through Amazon affiliates uh, they do pay a little bit of income uh, when people click on your link and, and make their purchases through them uh, it's sad when you I like my first one I made it was the Canadian uh, Amazon and if somebody's in Germany they don't want to buy from Canada uh, through the Canadian uh, Amazon so I'll at least have the German 
uh, I'll have all the countries uh, Amazon uh, links there so that you can go to your nearest Amazon and purchase it that way and it'll be the same product. Uh, prices may vary because of the different countries and what have you. That, uh, and uh, I, you won't have to pay any more for anything that you purchase through my affiliate link. Uh, it's the same price no matter what, it's just that I, I get a cut out of it. And, uh, well, just thank you for uh, stopping by and uh, having a look at my personal, honest review of the heater. Um, I'll make other reviews on other items and they'll be perfectly honest and true. And uh, if I don't like something, I'll let you know that I don't like it. Or if I really like it, I'll let you know that it, in my opinion, it's, it's good. Um, like I said it earlier, just because this was a Chinese knockoff thing, some people are skeptical about buying a Chinese product. Um, I don't understand why. The Chinese try to uh, duplicate everything at a cheaper price. Why not? Uh, I think I had mentioned this earlier, like when you buy something, uh, would you be boasting that you paid a lot for, for the same Thing, or do you want to boast that you've uh, paid very little for the, for a certain item? Uh, like, why would you pay three times the amount of money for something that's going to give you the same kind of heat? And for the price it is, uh, you're not going to lose that much. There's, it's not like it's, it's an expensive car or something. This is just a cheap, uh, uh, nice uh, heater. So anyways, I, in the links, in the description below, I'm going to have all the links for the uh, Amazon affiliate um, uh, programs. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, make a full comment. And if you do purchase one, please let me know so that I can uh, thank you personally. I'll send you a um, one of my stickers. I used to be called the King Tut Hut. But uh, there was quite a few people that couldn't figure that out. They didn't even know who King Tut was. Or uh, they couldn't say the, the King Tut Hut. So I changed my name to Nomadic Van Man, which is a little bit more, well, that's more me. I'm in the summer, I'm nomadic, and I'm living in a van, so I'm the Van Man. So please subscribe and stay tuned and uh, check out all my videos. If you haven't done so, look at the past ones. Uh, I did a unboxing and an installing kind of video on this heater, although it wasn't an install because, I mean, you put it where you want to install your own heater. It was more or less about uh, how I in installed it, where, where it is temporarily, how it's going to go, where everything fits, how the piping goes and what have you. and. This video is about the review on how the thing functions for a full 10 liter tank of fuel. And the, the tank that comes with the unit is a 10 liter tank. So I thought I'd burn a full tank to let you know how everything went. And the digital readout is right here. Right now it's uh, 19 degrees in here. I just turned it off. Let me just see if I can get it straightened up here. I, uh, I just turned it off. I can actually lay in bed and turn it off and turn it on and turn the temperature up and turn the temperature down from a little tiny remote that comes with it also. So there you have it. The uh, review of the car parking uh, Chinese diesel heater.